What's up guys, welcome back. This video here we're going to be doing a simple trap based design, uh, how to build it. I was looking for kind of how to's um, for like a cheap simple trap base you can use on either a modded server or vanilla. And uh, I came kind of modified this design that I got from somebody else and figured I'd just teach everyone else how to build it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So we're going to start this build out with a one, two, three. And then a four across, so a four by three, essentially. All right, and in the top left corner, you want to wall this off real quick, especially if you do this on vanilla server. All right, make sure you, there you go, soft side inside. You're going to drop a T seat, nice tucked here in the corner, like so. All right, now bear with me, I'm not the fastest builder, but we'll get through this together. All right, so then we're just going to wall off the whole thing. Make sure the soft sides are in here. Now you're going to leave a space there. Yep, just like that. This going to be the doorway. One, two, wall this off. There we go. One more wall here. All right, and this is going to be the second entrance. to be your entrance. All right, so we're going to do this doorways here. Now you can obviously add doorways uh, along the back side more if you want. Um, you know, more doors the better. Alright, so this is what we're looking at like so far. Alright, now we're going to want to do wall frames. We're going to add our wall frame here for the double doors. Got our airlock. We're looking like this. Pretty simple. So now, we're going to add another door frame here. That's where the TC is. Right, more walls the better. Gonna add our sheet metal doors. You get your sheet metal doors. So one here as well, and one there. All right. So those two there are gonna be your airlock. Then you have your two for those could be garage doors as well, uh, but I use just the sheet metal doors. Easier to obtain, um, so you can get this trap going immediately. Put a shop front, or you can do a window. Uh, you'll see in my one trap video where I demonstrate this trap working. Uh, I use the window with reinforced uh, reinforced windows as well. So, uh, but the shop that way you can see everything that's going in. So this back area that I was just in, that there is basically like uh, where you're gonna be most of the time. So there's your two shotgun traps. Now we gotta make it look like a base. No one's gonna walk in here if people don't go in and think it's a base. So this is the shell of it so far. I'm just gonna throw in a couple ceiling pieces. So cover the TC like so. Cover the back side. We need to cover that because that's where the uh, shotgun traps are gonna be. But for this demo, I'm just gonna show you the one ceiling tile because it's basically where the shotguns oh right here as well we've got shotgun traps here too well all right nope <laughs> all right shotgun traps there we go so basically you can open this door and then there's your shotgun traps you just want to put them as close as you can I usually like to put them up top that way I can just run right around them And do the same thing on this side. Could put auto turrets in. We never really got to that point yet. Uh, but I'm sure if you had an auto turret, that would work almost even better. But now we just gotta really make this thing look like a base. So throw some furnaces up. Large wood boxes. Do those in there. Right, there we go. Alright, so let's throw some furnaces down. Do a workbench real quick. The thing is, you can actually work out of this base before we get going. As, you, as you're trapping people, you can still work out of this base before you have yourself a main base. So, throw some furnaces here. Got a workbench. Throw a large box there. 
Gotta make it as enticing as possible for someone to run in. Right? Especially when someone's not thinking and they feel like they just killed you with the door open. They're gonna charge in. At least that was our experience. Er, small box. Right here. Close down. Maybe. Fun games with me. Basically, yeah, you just want to give this as, as enticing as possible, but you don't want to block the shotgun traps. That way, when someone comes running in, they can just think, oh man, I'm in their base, look at these loot crates. And then by the time they're in there and they realize there's nothing in the boxes, or just junk, it's too late. They can get hit by those shotgun traps here. Those can get hit from the side, so... That is the only dead spot of the whole base, so a turret would be super helpful here. But with the shotgun traps, and you can block this. Kind of entice them to the window, maybe. When they come running up, I mean, you see how this is just the peel. Obviously, they won't see the shotgun traps. Yeah. When they come running up, you see the appeal here. They think, oh man, we're in. And then the doors are closed behind them. Easy. Easy trap base. So you see here in one of my, in my video that I posted, I used a spin wheel. I think I had it over. I had a single door there before. But basically, you want to put a spin wheel. I can't place it on this door. Like on this wall here, right? Somewhere where they have to go in front of your target. So like I had them spin on red. I had it down, cut down, and then you can hit them just like that while they're spinning. So pretty simple trap build. Um, I'll show you guys the electrical here in the next section. And we'll get to it. So before we go uh, running around and showing you all the electrical, I figured I'd just show you what I did here. I added the doors on all the door frames. And then I'm going to come through here and I'm going to throw together the loot room real quick. So if you place a TC sideways like that, you can throw a box in here. Then we can throw another box here. Just simple. This is going to be kind of your secured loot, your guns, your armor, things like that. And then here. You could throw a box right here. All right, that would fit. No problem. But I'm going to usually put my battery there. You got to put your battery in a discreet location. But you see how I put doors everywhere. This right here. Kind of more shittier guns that I get. Semis or something from somebody. Um, less value. Definitely customs. Um, stuff that I can easily run out and do a bait with or um, um, fight somebody off with, right? Uh, that's usually what I put here at the end of the world. We lose it. Value here. So, yeah, just throw a couple small boxes like that. That's pretty much the interior. So now we just got to move to the electrical. Start off by putting a solar panel here. I'm only cramming everything on one tile here because I'm trying to keep this open to structure. Easy to demonstrate. Throw down a roof combiner. Alright, so got our wire. And 20 output from this solar panel. Make sure it's fully healed. Otherwise, if it takes damage, you'll get less output. Run in here and drop it right into the root power. Maybe. Yeah. There we go. Same thing here. Turn up the output. All right, then we're going to take the combined power that's coming out, which is 40. 20 plus 20 is 40. We're going to run it over. Again, I'm not being super careful about my wiring right now. 
All right, and then you're gonna come in. This is the door to enter to the back. Shotgun turrets are gonna be right here. PC. Go right through the battery. All right, we're gonna come down. Spin over a little bit. All right, so then we're gonna come out of our power. <coughs> come out of our power output. Run up, dive into the splitter. So there's only the three doors that we really have to worry about. Right? So people can, you can use this door. Like I mentioned earlier, you can use this door here as a, uh, a secondary trap for like the airlock. But uh, you can just wire that one separately, pretty simple. But for now, we're going to focus on this door, which I set a door controller there. This door. Which set a door controller here, and this door where I set a door controller here. The important thing about setting a door controller is I put this one here, right? But the only problem with this, we want to set a door controller on this side because by the time they see this, it's already too late. But if they come crouching in here and they're real cautious looking around and they see that door controller could be screwed you could lose a potential victim because of that so like I said you could put a door controller here and run this but we're not gonna do that it's possible it just takes a little more power but the three main doors is what we're gonna wire so that being said, we should come over here, run out of our power out, over, over, be on the ground for this. Alright, you don't want to go directly into the door controller, you need to go to a switch. If you go directly into the door controller, you have nothing to toggle it on and off. So this is where we're going to be our switch room which got to put switches down first so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to toggle the trap door low to the ground so I can be hiding right here and I can flip it on and off I don't got to be standing up here to do it so we're going to be hiding down low up here make this a little bit better and uh, up here those are basically going to be the trap doors. So, we run our power. Through everything. And we're going to run it through the trap door first. So we'll run it nice and tuck it down. Of this wall here, so and we'll just dive in. Now we're gonna run out of the output, run straight up. So this is gonna go to the output electricity. So we're gonna run up there, there, and you can take as much time as you want being fancy with your wires, but I. Don't need to do that. So basically, what you do to pair these doors, I don't know if you know how to do it. You take this old E, unlock it, hit pair door, old E, lock it. Now, how many doors? Now, red, wired. Basically, I can sit down here, wait for to someone to get lured in the base. And then from here, I can close it. Now they're stuck. I can do whatever I want with them. They're in your trap base. That's the trick. So let's just wire these real quick.
like that. And the last one, right? The last one's output. Do that real quick since it's right here. And then here. Alright, and then the input. The electricity's coming from, so that's coming from the splitter. Drive over, keep it nice and tight. Run over here, open this door. Run over here. And here, and then straight down into the power out. Not everything has power. But now, we have plenty of power coming in. 12 hours, 8 minutes. Up here. We have 50 charge coming into the splitter. Being split. Running to the switches. Pretty simple. Little electrical circuit here. Right, you can do this with a small battery as well. Right? Um, I found it a lot easier sometimes, depending on how long the night is on your server, if you're spaying vanilla, you might run out of power throughout the night. So you might have to close your trap down until it's daylight. So uh, it's really, really important to get yourself a roof and binder. So now, with that being said, pretty much this trap is set up and ready to roll. So you can do something like have them spin this, and while they're spinning, you can open the door and then blast them with your shotgun traps. All right, and then meanwhile, you can operate out of this base. Alright, sometimes I leave some dummy loot in here, but by the time I get to it, it's no big deal. Um, I found it useful to throw wood in here to get these furnaces just lit up. Um, sometimes that gets people in. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Basics of this trap base. There's more trap base videos to come. Do a uh, overhead look. See, there we go. That is what it basically looks like here. Your TC's tucked away. You got your loot room back here for any good guns and armor you get. Alright, you can obviously honeycomb this. I didn't do any of that, but you could. Most trap bases, I actually enjoy being raided. Um, I don't use it as a main base anyways. But uh, yeah, this is can be used as a starter base and you can add on to it and turn it into a trap base. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the, the base design. Leave these doors open. Someone can run it up, and when they look in the base, oh shit! Furnaces, box, workbench. Okay, all right. They might be a little skeptical. And okay, trap bases are a thing. Okay, no rugs. Nothing here that can come out and get me. In here, furnaces, boxes, double door there. What I found is most people just run right in. Now you can fix this out for a window. That way, um, with like a reinforced window, that way you can see. But the idea is to get them in here. Normally when they hit about this point, they're in. They just come running in, opening boxes, close the door behind them, and they don't even know what's going on. So I've gotten a lot of people with this. Remember, when you are running this trap, the doors open like this just crouch in this corner you can operate this thing I'm all the way in the corner you can operate this switch from over here See? and they're in but yeah I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and uh, <laughs> enjoy some laughs and Open the door, ready? Okay, kill me. Door open. Hey. 
He's in, he's in, he's in. <laughs> oh, hey, boys. Oh, <laughs> Quickly, let me TP you. Wait, there's... <laughs> yeah, easy, okay. We're, we're getting raided, boys. Yeah, dude, we're getting raided. <laughs>